Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do the mini love forecast for the Libra for next week, starting May the 20th, I'm sorry, April the 25th, ending May the 1st. All right, so we're gonna, it's just gonna be a quick five card spread for a personalized reading, go to my website. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll do your reading the same day, um, but I do get my readings done within three business days, okay? And my business days include the weekend, so anyway, I'm going to look at what's going on currently and then in the past and then in the future. So you'll have a future card, which will represent next week and then... An advice card also it's either an advice card or a potential occurrence that can happen I'm listening to the um, Salfa Geo 741 HZ activate crystal clear intuition and higher self meditation music So it looks like next week might be a little messy. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, a little, just a little messy. Okay, so currently you got the emperor. So this is a very strong male you know, um, I don't want to say aggressive energy, but just the very dominant energy. So, um, for you to get this as like the current card, like for some of you Libras, um, currently, the, you know, this is kind of where you're at in this card could represent either you or your partner or just what's going on in your life because the Emperor you know, represents a, a man that takes responsibility. Okay, so, you know, for you people that are single, you Libras that are single, um, you know, this could be someone that is, that you're currently dealing with. Um, the Emperor is about achievement. But it, it also reminds us um, to not let your heart overrule your mind. So just make sure that your perception is clear. <clears throat> um, some of you Libras might be getting in or you may have recently gotten involved or you are currently involved with an older man. Um, this is a father type figure. I get the sense that some of you might be looking for that. <clears throat> almost desperately for it to be a major arcana card to come up so now in the past now I'm gonna tell you something you got you got a, a asshole and a dickhead in your reading Libra okay so and the reason why I say this is because there's two younger people um, they may not be younger in years just maybe in their wisdom <clears throat> but the page of swords comes up in the past and so this is somebody that is very advanced, that has very advanced perception. So this is a literal person. Okay. And this person is almost like a seer. You know, in the illustration, this person has almost like a light shining through their left eye. And they've got their sword in their left hand and the the light is shining through the sword so they have a very I mean they know you they see you coming and they know everything about you and this has created some conflict what is crossing you in the past is the five of wands and depending on your future cards okay this was a lot of conflict in the past 
And it looks as though even though there was some sort of romantic competition, typically this card points to someone overcoming that competition. Now, it could be this literal person who is this page of swords. So you may have lost out at something in the past. But, and, and that created a lot of um, identity issues for you. For this five of wands to come up, this is about um, a person that, this is about people with fleeting identity issues. Typically, this is the wands is of a masculine nature, but if, if you are a woman, Libra, and there's, you know, other people in competition, you were striving for your self-identity. You know, there was something involved that made you feel as though, you know, and it caused a lot of imbalances, you know. And so for it to cross the, <clears throat> the page of swords, um, obviously the page of swords is a higher court card. So I feel as though the page of swords came out on top in the past. Now, in the future... You get another page, but this is just more of a warning. But your future card is the Six of Swords. So, the illustration of this card, Libra, is you taking some sort of journey. And it's a bad situation. Like, the illustration of the card is a big, pretty, um, hot air balloon. And it's being held up by Six Swords. But... What is actually controlling the balloon is coming out of the top of the person's head. So this is energy coming from the crown that's going to take you to new, undiscovered places. So below him is the earth, a depiction of the earth on fire and burning. And so the Six of Swords is actually a very good card. It's an amazing card because it's you leaving behind a bad situation. Leaving behind a situation that no longer suited you anymore. Um, not only that, it shows a growth in your perception, like your personal growth as a person, you know, as far as your intelligence, you know. And But in the future, I will tell you what's crossing you in the future is this page of pentacles. Now this, again, is another core card that can represent either you or a literal person. And you know how they say that we create the dramas in our life, literally. Um, it, I mean, if it's not us doing it directly, then it can be spirits or whatever. But whatever it was, it was your issue. I, I feel very strongly that every, that everybody manifests what they are going to manifest. So you get what you get because that's what you put out there. Now... This literal person in the future that I'm seeing in the Page of Pentacles. Again, this is a younger person, okay? Maybe it could signify a person younger than you, maybe not. But the Page of Pentacles could indicate some sort of um, boredom, okay? You may be tempted to shake things up. So you may be tempted to, to bring up some more drama in the future. This is going to create loss and lack of luster in your relationship so the six of swords indicating balance and also harmony for you to get this as a future card let's going back to the six of swords real quick before i wrap this up um the six of swords is about a journey a better future so some of you are going to be traveling next week or either planning to travel or you're going to get offer to travel or you're you it may not be um literal travel it could be metaphorical okay um but this is some sort of escape from a bad situation i mean it was bad which jives with the five of staffs even though it's a staff and a sword for you to make that advancement from the five, it shows, you know, that situation was something that you would not be able to deal with or overcome. It was something that wasn't for you, so you move forward. And to get this as a future card, it just means the challenges that you face will eventually be overcome. And the struggles that you're going through are necessary to provide you with growth. You need to find your way to a better future. So this is like a rite of passage, okay? 
Um, and, and so now let's go back to the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that is going to try to wreck something for you. I mean, this is just blatant about this card. So this is somebody very impulsive and childish. Um, so in general, the Page of Pentacles is excellent energy to support when you have work to get accomplished. But don't get too overzealous because, I mean, it can turn your partner off. So, I mean, you could be going on this journey with this person if you are single. You know, you're probably going to travel somewhere and meet someone. Um, so if you have been invited to go somewhere or if your um, body is pulling you to just like go drive down the street or walk down the street, you should do it. But then again, the Page of Pentacles is saying to you, and I think that this is this literal person. It could either stand for you or someone in your life. But you can't allow this person because this person kind of already got all in the stuff in the past. And then in the future, it's another person popping up. So it's two, two different people. So these are enemies that you need to deal with. Um, in my opinion, because they're crossing you in the past and the future. And they overcame you in the past. And so they're sitting on top of your six of swords in the future as well. Now, if you're in a committed relationship... When this card appears, it does, it just may have lost some of its luster. Maybe you need to go on a vacation together. Okay, it doesn't mean that it that the relationship is over, but it means that you need to take action. And you need to mentally stimulate the relationship. And to create change, you have to be honest about how you are feeling. Now, if you are unattached and you can't seem to meet someone, look carefully at what you're holding in your heart. So this means be careful of what you are putting out there with this Page of Pentacles. So this was also an advice card, meaning this could be a lot of you Libras. And I do readings, personal readings for a lot of Libras also. I'd say about 50% of my clientele are Libras. And it's because they're always trying to achieve balance. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a, work, it's a work in progress for them. So... And I think everybody is, but I think with them, they have to do it more often. So they have to be very disciplined. And the Page of Pentacles is not disciplined at all. So um, so I think the theme of the week for you, Libras, is going to be... Um, you know, growth of perception of self. You know, perception of self. You know, that's the area that you would need, um, I would say, that would be most important for you. And, you know, a lot of people, it's hard to admit certain things. And, like, for me, it I mean, for me personally, you know, everybody goes through phases in life. Now you, And the, the major arcana card that you got was the emperor. And he has a very, very uh, specific message. And I'm going to tell you this message and then I'm going to get out of here. Um, the Emperor wants you to be able to deal when you have hard choices. When hard choices have to be made, it's important to, to maintain your concentration and focus. And this is something that time period will make, this time period will make it easy for you to do. Um, enjoy the assertive, assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings and you need to move ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have little problem mastering the world and all the things in it. And the emperor, I, I love when, he, when I tell that to people because I've been telling that to people more and more often because you cannot do anything unless you are able to look at self. And if you've been holding yourself back, ain't nobody doing that but you and you got it. It's time to quit blaming them and that is when you have figured out the world when you can admit to yourself and make those important changes so i'm gonna get out of here y'all um make sure that you thumbs up this video make sure you subscribe and um stay tuned for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway that's coming up you might be a winner and i'll talk to you guys later bye